In today's session, we are going to focus on understanding and analyzing historical trends for a company with a view to create the financial model and future projections for the company. Generally, you would either have a brownfield financial modeling situation or a greenfield modeling situation. What I mean is you may be preparing a model for a company which has been in existence for a while, has operational history available as well as financial history available and uh, you could use this history and trends to forecast the future financials of this company. On the other hand, you have a greenfield project to be analyzed where you don't have the operating history of this project. For example, a company is putting up a new power plant somewhere and you don't have the history for this project. In such a case, you would go back, check if the company has any similar projects whose history you could use or whose trends you could use or if the company itself is a new company in this sector, then you could look at certain other companies and try to get some trends from the operational and financial history of these other companies. If it's a new business model altogether for which there is no competitive information available, in such a case, we might have to use a proxy sector or an industry which is as close to it as possible to get some trends about history of the company in this space. For example, someone who might have been creating a financial model for a business like Facebook when it was a very very new idea as such. In such a case, we might have to look at as closely comparable as possible types of internet companies or IT companies. So extremely close comparables if we could search and based on that we could create a financial model for Facebook. So that's it. With that, let's focus on time machine watch companies financial projections.